Hello and welcome to a review of Camarada Ghost DX Machine Hoodie and Houdini Ghost Icon Set. This is to go along with the line of Ghost Change series that I have been reviewing and you check those out, those videos out as well on my channel. And this is a pretty big set. Now I don't really care for icons because well, I don't have a DX Ghost Driver and I don't really intend to get one, it's just not really my thing. But anyway, here he is and it's been a while since I opened up a DX box like this with um, you know, a pretty big box with an actual cardboard thing inside, tray inside. Here's a quick look at the box on the front. You got uh, the machine in two modes, and you got the rider leaning there, looking cool, and you got the rider there. And on top of the box, it shows you uh, the, an image of the ghost icon, as well as what I believe to be the actual photo of the suit. And on the back here, it shows you some basic stuff about what you can do with this and what's it, what it is compatible with. You can put in the ghost icon driver, of course and blah 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 and I'll just tell you exactly what you get inside and <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been a while uh, no plastic bag holding the instructions but the instruction sheet is pretty big um, and so I did have to look, I'd have to say I did have to look at the instructions to you know, assemble this for the first time because um, I got this and messed around with it before I saw the episode with the machine um, my new debuts, so I wasn't quite sure what he was supposed to do with it. So I did actually have to uh, have to take a look at the instructions. However, after seeing that episode where this form debuts, I'm pretty confident that if I watched it first before playing with the toy, I, I would not need the instructions because it's it's simple, relatively simple enough, and. Um, Cellar tape on each end of the cardboard, taping it down. Of course, this is very easy to move because of the way the shape of the cardboard is. It's very rough, so the cellar tape doesn't quite stick to it. And um, inside here, let me just pull that down. You have the main body of the bike, uh, the ghost icon, of course, the hoodie part, and the jacket part. All of these are in little plastic bags. You have a little plastic thing holding the hoodie up, just like what you do with all the. Uh, other ghost change stuff. So let's take a look at this icon first. For the most part, the size is very similar to a uh, lock seat. Now, after this review, I'm pretty much not going to mess around with this at all. It's just going to go back in the box. And by the way, on the back there, there is a QR code. So do what you will with that. I'll just put in a large image here so you can scan it. Uh, whoops. On top of here, you have Houdini. You know, very nice shiny sticker and number 13, this is 13, mm, let's be lucky for some. And at the bottom here you have some pegs and stuff to well, tell the belt uh, what this is. Also some black stuff printed there, I don't know what that's, that's for, some signal, whatever, whatever to, whatever reference or something. And of course inside there you have uh, four stickers or shiny metallic stickers, 13, push that down, you get some, um, well, the face image of this um, form and we've got some chains going on, click it again you have chains breaking because he breaks through and escapes and just a standard eye thing there so 13, face and chains breaking and blank which um, I'm probably going to leave that, leave it at that for the most part hmm. but I mean overall looks okay just I just don't really care about icons too much. Uh, you got a transparent thing there, plastic to make it look like an eyeball, very shiny. And of course, um, I do notice the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sides. Uh, DK dot cards one, uh, guy memories two, old medals three, uh, four a four switches, wizard ring five fingers, lock seat six, shift cards turn into a position that kind of you flip it and make it kind of look like a seven. And now we have eight, so I wonder what we've got for nine and ten. Anywho, uh, so yeah, this is how the thing comes in. You got this main piece here, you got the hood piece, and you got the helmet piece. So uh, obviously, this is a bit different to what you see in the show and stuff. For example, uh, the, the inside is not painted at all. You have the transparent plastic there, which looks okay. But um, according to the show, the chains should be painted. Um, this, this backing there should be painted black, and these chains should be. I think it's silver or, or yeah, silver chains with a black background. So uh, this whole thing needs a bit of a paint job to make it look better. 
Anyway, we have a little peg there to peg, peg in the hoodie. And it can come off because, well, he can actually take this, he can actually wear this form without being attached to this giant bike. But you, you literally just plug, plug, uh, peg this in here. And so a little spring loaded or uh, flip. Then go left and right. So that's what they use to hold this together. And you got these transparent pieces, which also have little plugs. I just plug this together. And um, missing the front there, which is this hood piece, which just flip. You want to flip that down. And then I think this is already flipped correctly. Yeah. And then you have the front of the bike. Now you have a nice bike for your Spectre figure. Oh, and there's also a little flap down there to hold the bike up. So, uh, yeah, this uh, in bike form, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, I like how this looks, and um, no doubt the SH Freakout bike will look a lot better, but um, it probably won't, most definitely won't have this function going on. Um, make sure that this helmet actually clicks. Well, it can actually click in at the top, so just push it down. Uh, these handlebars don't really turn, so because they're separate and they're kind of stuck there because the wheels uh, don't really turn left or, left or right. So I'm just going to get Spectre. And you know, I'm going to plug the normal Spectre hood on him. And just see how well he can uh, sit on this bike. So just get him there. Put pull his legs up, of course. Uh, put them apart. Let's see, he's trying to get his hands forward, his hands on the control bars, and um, no, he does a decent enough job sitting there. I mean, these gimmick figures are always going to have a little bit of an issue like that, so let's uh, transform him into Houdini mode. Lift the Spectre hood up, you want to pull this front piece off, and you want to flip this up, of course, so you get the giant horns. And you also want to flip these out so you have like a kind of shoulder pad thing going on. Open, flip this uh, stand back inside and open this up. Because now you have this hoodie bit which flips up. And um, most Spectre can get sit in there and flip this back down. There are some pegs on both sides that you can uh, secure uh, Spectre in here. Not the most secure thing though. Come on, it's uh, quite hard to get him in. Come on. Okay, so he's um, fully pegged in now. Just, just get this helmet piece and just bring that down. It should. There should be some place for him to plug in. So uh, this whole thing is a bit. I think. Can't. Okay, this is very finicky. Um, I'm not. Sure, I can get this right there. Uh, there we go. That's the best I can get him for now. And um, I have one big complaint right now is that I can hardly see the chains on his faceplate. I just zoom in there. You really need the light on that to really see it. Otherwise, you can't see that chain at all. And um, I think they might have printed this a bit too much. So that's that's really hard to see. Still, as an overall visual thing, he's got a flying bike on his back. That's kind of cool. Um, it's a, it's, it's a bit too far out from the actual torso, and the rings don't quite spread as much as I would like them to. But that's what you get of a gimmick figure. That's that's what happens. And it is nice on the back here. You got these two pegs coming out, like little legs, so you can help you hold up Spectre when he's in this mode. And like I said, you, you can do this. So just come out there, flip this to the side if you want. And uh, supposedly, he can stand on this, so the two pegs there, so uh, on top of the bike. So just peg the holes in the feet on that, and this one. And he's, he's you know, in the flying mode. Just do that. And uh, there you go, flying mode spectre. It's, uh, it's decent. So overall, I think this is actually a pretty good deal for the price it's going for. It's going for about 240, which is 
you know, about the same price as one of these uh, base figures. Uh, the, the Damashi, you know, the jacket set, you get two jackets for 140, a uh, figure with a jacket for 190, and 240 for this is, is okay. It's pushing the edge, but I still think it's, it's a pretty decent price because you get a bike, the bike can transform into a jacket that you can use, and it's got two modes to play around with. And uh, if you do have the Ghost Driver, then of course you have the DX version of the Icon, the Houdini Icon, which um, uh, is not too big of a deal because if the Icon is released in Gashapon or Candy Toy versions, the uh, functionality is completely identical and um, maybe the stickers will be a little bit different, but I can't really tell the difference between non-DX and DX versions, apart from the, uh, the dad one uh, that Ghost has, because the DX version has lights and sound, whereas the Gashapon one does not. But all the other icons don't have lights and sounds, so... yeah, I can't really tell the difference. So the icon isn't too important, but you do get one here, so if you are... If you do have the Ghost Driver and you're picking this up, then it's like a decent little bonus that you can mess around with. Uh, even without the Ghost Icon, I'm still quite pleased with the price that it's going for. Like, if the box didn't come with the Ghost Icon, it was just the bike and the hood pieces, I still think it's a decent enough price. Uh, that'd be a bit over the edge, but um, I still would have gotten this. Now, as for the uh, Ghost Bike with the big dragon and boat thing, uh, I think I'm skipping that one. And instead, I'll just wait for the... the uh, SH Figarts bike that will look a lot nicer because I don't really care for that giant lizard boat thing. I just don't like that much. Don't like that much. It doesn't interest me at all. But this piece, however, I'm quite glad I picked up, and uh, I probably won't be picking an SH Figarts Houdini bike. Um, maybe let's see if it actually looks really, really good, and the price is also really, really good. So yeah. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. Tell me what you think about this set as well as other Ghost Chain stuff or icons if you collect them. Uh, hopefully you will check out my other Kamen Rider videos. I have a lot of them on this video, on this channel. Uh, without ad block, I would appreciate that a lot. And want to support this channel even further, please consider heading over to Patreon page and give me a little support there. Um, if not, I still appreciate, appreciate you watching. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now. Henshin.